so you can taste your flavors and stuff. We're gonna add some salt. Okay, let me use this one because this one already open. Don't add too much salt because you can get diabetes from that. Yeah, yeah that's a good amount. And then, okay, so we're gonna move all these over here, the ones we used already. We're gonna put some lemon pepper on there. Get it in there real good. And make sure your food is seasoned. We're gonna put some paprika. Paprika kind of hot, ain't it? So we're gonna put a little bit of black pepper on there. Too, too hot, jaw breaking hot. Whew. And then, okay, wrong side. Make sure you do it on the side that got the holes in it because if you do it on this side, most of the bottom gonna like fall down on the chicken. And it's gonna be too, too much on the chicken. Okay. And we're gonna put some Old Bay on there. Smackalicious. We're going to put some kicking kicking chicken seasoning on there too. And okay, so make sure your front side of the chicken look like this. And then you want to just like flip it over. Like try to get the back, get the back side to get like Seasons on there too. Okay. Okay. Now I'm just like kind of gonna like mix it. Like, like mix it like this so like you can get the front and the back and your chicken stay up. Make sure your chicken is seasoned all the way so. Because if you put a little bit of season on there and then you get ready to put it in your flour, you might not be able to taste the seasoning. So make sure you get it looking all good. Make sure your hands is clean because you know, coronavirus, like Cardi B said, I don't want to catch COVID-19. And like lay your chicken flat down like that again. Make sure it looks seasoned too at that, because you know. Gotta be eating good. Okay. Alright, so when your chicken look like this front and back, you put that to the side, wash your hands off. Make sure you wash them good, because you know. Coronavirus! So. After you wash them, you make sure you like dry them off because you don't want no water from your hands getting on the bowl of flour that we're going to get to next. So, I'm going to use like a bowl like this and I'm going to wash it out too because you know, you got to wash it out. But make sure you dry it because then the flour is going to stick to the bowl, you know. So. Make sure you get you a bag of flour and pour it in the bowl. I don't really, okay, yeah, I don't leave my, I don't put all my chicken inside, so yeah, make sure you wrap up your flour. I don't put all my chicken in the, okay, I'm gonna throw these away from, I'm just drying off the chicken. And then, um, okay, make sure you take your chicken and put it in the flour. And just make sure you get it floured good. And, uh, okay, and then you're gonna lay your chicken back flat down on the pan that you had all your chicken on. And then you're gonna move on to the next chicken. Don't sit all your chicken in the flour at once because, you know, well, I just don't do that because I like to make sure 
each chicken got enough flour on there. Because we want to make chicken bowl. Like that. You need a bigger bowl. No, no, just cook. But yeah, make sure your chicken get enough flour on there. Let you know. Okay. Make sure you shake it because you don't want a whole bunch of flour getting over the counter. And just do the same thing to like the rest of the chicken. Just make sure you get it, get it floured real good. Because when you find a chicken, if you don't flour it all the way, then if you don't flour your chicken, then it like can burn out your grease and stuff too. It burns a lot of grease. And you're going to be upset because you got to keep replacing the grease. <laughs> but today, we're using a deep fryer. You know, the best, the better way to do it. And, you know, make sure you flour it good because, you know, this fried chicken, this ain't grilled. You know, just. Get it real good and stuff. And please make sure you wash your hands when you like cooking because, you know, I don't want to catch a virus or nothing like that. You got to stay healthy and stay home and stop feeding up. Maybe if you stay home and cook your food instead of going out to eat, then it gives you less chances of catching the virus. And try to make less of a mess too, you know, so you won't have to clean up a lot when you're done. Yes. Okay, so, take a little bit of this, sprinkle a little bit of flour on there, you know. Make them a little tiny and people get it done a lot, and they lift up. So when your chicken look like this, you know, powdery. What you do is wash your hands, make sure you get all this flour off. You know, sometimes it gets stuck in your fingernails, make sure you wash out your hands real good. You don't want the leftover stuff in your hands because that's when stuff pile up and turn into juice. Wash them real good, you gotta scrub them. So. Make sure you dry them off too. Don't wanna leave no germs on the virus. So, I'm gonna bring my guests into this. You see the green light? Yeah, the green light is on. Put the chicken in the box. <laughs> so yeah, the chicken that you didn't season. It. So today we're using a deep fryer, but you know when you got a pan of chicken grease, make sure you like pick it up, bring it, and then sit it in there. But I'm using a deep fryer, so you know it's kind of different from cooking on the stove. You know. Gotta make room so you can cook all your chicken. You won't be waiting hours, you feel me? So. And you just put it in there. I put four in for right now because if you put a lot in it, then it's gonna take longer to cook. We'll be back. <laughs> 